Hi Aquarius, welcome to Angela333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. A couple things before we get started with your reading. One, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. This is a message meant for you. It's the current energies. Just want to put that out there as well. And then secondly, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All that information is in the description box. Just be careful with Instagram as people are trying to duplicate my account, solicit money. Um, if someone solicits you for money, that is not me. If I offer personal readings, it will only be here on my channel, okay? So use the exact addresses in the description box. Wow, I can't believe this card came out, Aquarius. I've been seeing this in a lot of readings. It just came out in Capricorn's reading as well. So, wow, I just cannot believe that that's the card that came out. So let's pull... Um, Let's pull a couple more cards. We're going to pull one more from the deck and one from the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So very loud and clear message here for you, Aquarius, uh, from this Oracle deck is I feel that there is something definitely on your mind or something that you want to say. It does feel it's coming from your emotions, right? And I feel like you're being guided here by spirit to let it go, to detach from it. Um, it may also be with the throat chakra, there may be somebody that you're wanting to speak up or you're wanting somebody to say something here. Something needs to be heard or something needs to be said here with that throat chakra. Okay, so detaching emotionally, right, is what's going to bring you peace as you see here with that dove. You can see this person's kind of in isolation Right, And it may be because you may be feeling you're not heard or you may be feeling that there's something that somebody needs to say to you, um, you know, in regards to love. So it's detaching emotionally, I'm going to say here. And you also have here, choose your battles. All right. So that's why they're saying, let it go. Okay. It may, it may not serve any purpose for you to say anything at this time or your person. All right. It may just may not be the right timing. This also can be, you know, about your boundaries or standing um, up for what you believe in. Okay, you have number 11, right? Um, number five, number seven. This number 11 here, you know, I feel it's choosing to detach emotionally from the situation. I feel like Spirit's saying that right now that's what's going to give you the most peace. All right, we're going to pull the tarot. We'll see what additional messages come out for you. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do we have for Aquarius? All right, so we have here the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and we have here the Ace of Wands. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Eight of Cups, all right? So again, I feel like there's something here that emotionally you're not happy with, you're not content with, okay? Now, it can be that you're choosing to walk away from a situation, okay? You got the seven of cups here as well, all right? So there's there's a lot of emotion here, a lot of mixed emotion here. Maybe, um, you know, making some sort of decision here or feeling confused, right? Now, you have the Knight of Pentacles, all right? It definitely feels like an energy of this is somebody here on your mind. You have the Knight of Pentacles. So it does show an energy, I feel, of things kind of at a snail's pace or, you know, stagnant, not much movement here in the situation, okay? Because you also have here the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like um, you're probably dealing with somebody here who you're not feeling valued by this person. And that's why I feel like you want to say something or you want this person to say something to you, all right? So it can be a very alone energy. Like I said, isolation here. Maybe you're spending a lot of time alone, um, thinking about the situation, you know, feeling like there's not a whole lot of movement here. You do have the high priestess. We have strong uh, Cancerian energy, strong Pisces. We also have earth energy. So 
I feel Aquarius that um, this is really about you listening to your intuition and your wisdom, right? You may be feeling, I'm just going to say here too, you may be feeling like the person that you're dealing with, maybe they're being a little bit secretive, right? Um, because I do feel like there's probably some distance or lack of communication in the current situation. You have uh, the Ace of Wands, okay? We'll see what this Ace of Wands is about. Feels, uh, could be a new beginning, right? A new beginning, a new opportunity. You start to feeling, feeling more motivated and passionate again. I also get the energy of you um, through your inner high priestess guidance, finding that passion again. But let's see what else comes out here in your reading, Aquarius. Okay, you have the Three of Pentacles. You have the Eight of Pentacles. The Star card. And you have here the Seven of Swords. Okay, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So interesting, all right? Interesting here. I feel like what they're showing me here, you're in a situation where I feel like there hasn't been much change, okay, in the direction that you want it to go. I feel like they're saying here if you detach, there is some sort of new opportunity here, okay? Something coming here your way. We're going to see what that's about. I feel, um, Aquarius, the energy that they're showing me here, you have the Three of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Pentacles, and you have the Star card. I feel it's a situation that you're still having hope for, okay? Maybe you're still hoping that things can work out between this person here. Uh, you know, maybe an energy here of your intuition is telling you that things are going to rekindle, uh, that the two of you are going to be able to work together here. And I'm going to say here, roles can be reversed, so this could be your person's thoughts too. But you have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So, and you have the hermit here and, and I feel here you do know your worth here, but there's definitely something on your mind. You're having a hard time letting go of it, detaching. It could just be detaching from this person, but I definitely get the energy that you know your worth here with this um, queen of pentacles and with the hermit here. I feel like you've definitely been spending uh, some time thinking about this. Now you could be dealing with the Virgo here as well. You also have here the moon card, okay, Pisces or Cancerian energy. So it just feels uh, Aquarius like you may be feeling like this person is being secretive um, because I'm going to say here, you got your energy here, Aquarius as well, but you have the seven of swords, all right, so... You may be feeling like your person is hiding something or maybe they lied to you, I, you know, or you may be feeling like this person is um, avoiding you, okay? You know, I kind of pick up that energy. Maybe they come around when they want the passion, right? But maybe they, they uh, with the throat chakra here, I'm getting the energy that they probably avoid conversations around anything more then um, passion, right? Probably around emotions. We don't really have any cups here on the table. So let's see what else comes out for you, uh, Aquarius. What else does Aquarius need to know? Ooh. Okay, so you have the Eight of Swords. You have the um, Ace of Swords. The Lovers. Strong Gemini energy. Yeah, and the Nine of Swords. You know, bottom line, what I'm seeing here, yeah, look at this, you got the Nine of Wands. So you got somebody I feel here who's very inconsistent. It does feel like an energy that this person comes around, right? They're very passionate, they're excited, you know, around intimacy, but it feels like uh, this could be somebody who ghosts you, right? They may come in for a while, but then they, they, they're gone, 
uh, you don't hear from them. This, and, and this may not be everybody's story, but this is what I'm seeing here, Aquarius. So, you know, and that's what leaves you stuck here. So, I'm hearing like, you know, that's why they're telling you here to detach. Detach emotionally because, as I said, there are no cup. There's no um, emotions here on the table, right? Um, no cup energy. This person is coming across as very guarded, right? Maybe somebody here who is making you wait. King of Wands, all right? So this person, I'm, I'm picking up strong energy. This may be somebody who's all about the passion, right? That's why they're hot and cold. They're inconsistent. Um, and I feel here with the Ace of Swords, even though you have hopes that things could work out here, this is the clarity that I feel you're trying to gain about the situation. Whether this is going to work or is this somebody that I really just need to detach from and move on and, and start a new beginning. This energy has been in your reading here, Aquarius, for quite some time. Now, you have uh, the lovers, okay? This is probably what's hard for you because you do feel a very strong connection with this person. That's why I feel here you're still hopeful here. I also feel like there could be some other worry that there is somebody else involved uh, or you know somebody else is involved that this person is being secretive. You have the Nine of Swords here as well, right? So definitely very heavy on your mind. Yeah, I feel like you have a worry here that this person is being passionate with somebody else, basically. Um, and that could be here. So, you know, that could be what you're wanting to ask, right? This could be somebody, um, if, if, if you're seeing someone or this person is in your work environment, there may be somebody here in your work environment or in some capacity where you work together with people. You may have some sort of suspicion. Maybe your intuition is telling you this. But um, let's see what the potential here is in this situation. And then I will take it to the extended just to look deeper into what they're thinking and feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love notes, guidance. We'll, we'll look at in here on YouTube. Uh, we'll look at what they're thinking or feeling about you. So interesting here. Potential. All right. So I feel what they're saying here, Aquarius. You're not going to be in this energy much longer. All right. I feel there's going to be a good portion of you who are going to detach from this person. You're going to walk away is the energy I'm getting. You're going to come to that realization that either this person is, is with somebody else or you're going to come to that realization that you just don't want to be, you don't want to be stuck. You don't want to feel stuck in this anymore because what I do see here. So I do see a new love coming into your life here. You have the Ace of Cups and you have the Six of Wands. So I feel like, you know, your, going, your energies here is going to change. If you walk away, I feel like you're going to get a lot of attention. And you may already get a lot of attention here, but there's a new love coming in here for you with that Ace of Cups. And look at that. You have the Strength card. And you have the Justice card. So you've got Leo and Libra energy. And here's, look at that. Here's the cup energy, right? The cup energy here with new love. Could be a water sign. You also got a fire sign here. I feel, um, Aquarius, that you're going to feel more balanced by detaching, moving forward, and um, opening yourself up, right? Opening yourself up to other opportunities because it's showing me that people here are very attractive. Like you're recognized. Um, your energy is showing up as like when you walk into a room, people notice you. And I, I get the energy here. It's going to take the courage to do that, to put yourself out there. Um, but with this Justice card, I feel that the universe is going to bring you good karma here with this Ace of Cups and the Justice card, right? And, you know, the Justice for me, too, is a contract. So it could be a relationship that definitely leads to long-term commitment or marriage uh, if you're wanting to get married, all right? So with that, Aquarius, I, I know that some of you out there will still want to know, right? How this person is thinking or feeling about you. 
So let's see how this person is thinking or feeling about Aquarius. So you have the Eight of Cups. You have the Five of Cups. And you have the Mother of Cups. So, so their feelings did not show up here in the reading. But when I asked what their feelings are, all the cup energy showed up. That tells me that they're hiding, you know, their energy. You have uh, the Daughter of Cups, Page of Cups energy. So you may have walked away from this person. Maybe you've already detached from this person. Um, but I can tell you this person, um, definitely an energy of... I feel like this person knows that they disappointed you. They may be knowing that you're very disappointed. You have the Mother of Cups here, so they're definitely seeing you as very kind, very giving, caring um, type of energy. You got the, the Daughter of Cups here with the star, which is your energy. So I, I feel like this person's probably going to send you some sort of message Right, I feel like they know that you're already disappointed about the situation. Um, so I feel what's going to happen here, um, and they may even feel your your energy pulled back here. I'm, I'm getting that as well. So I I think that this person's going to send you some sort of message, like to try and feel it out to see how you respond, because their energy does come back, um, does come across as a back and forth energy. Right, and I feel like there could potentially be somebody else involved in this situation, whether you know it or you don't. But uh, you, you'll hear from them, Aquarius. But I feel like uh, Spirit is telling you that if you walk away and detach from this connection, there's something very beautiful coming in for you. So, Aquarius, I will take it to the extended. We will see where this goes. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.